Welcome to Electro Online. Here's our next example or problem from the JE main test dealing with physics. And that uh, they do give us the figure of the problem. And when you look at it, well, it looks kind of complicated, but it actually is a whole lot easier than it, acts, than it looks. So let's read the problem and see how we would solve it. It deals with simple harmonic motion. We have two identical springs of spring constant 2K, which are attached to a block of mass M and to fix supports, see the figure. When the mass is displaced from the equilibrium position on either side, it executes simple harmonic motion. Then the time period of the oscillations of the system is, and so all we have to do is find the period of the system. Now, I don't like to remember or memorize the equation of the period. I always like to memorize the equation of the frequency. The frequency of oscillation is always equal to one over two pi times the square root of k over m. Now what I'm going to do instead of using this kind of k, I'll use a general k like this so that you can see that this k is not the same as the k's over there. And we realize that the period is equal to 1 over the frequency, so we simply take the inverse, and so the period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of m over k. So now all we have to do is replace the K here with what the K really is. Now notice there are two springs. Now it doesn't matter if one is on either side or both of them are on the same side. It really doesn't matter. We simply have to add up the effect of each of the springs. So there's two of them and each of them has a spring constant of 2K. So that means that the period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of M divided by 2 because there's two springs and each spring has a spring constant of 2K which means that the period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of m over 4k, and of course the square root of 4 is 2. We can pull the 2 out, cancel it with this 2, so we have t, t is equal to 2 pi over 2 times the square root of m over k, and of course the 2's cancel, or the period is equal to pi times the square root of m over k. Now when we look at the answers, certainly there's one of them that matches. It's Answer A, so it is indeed pi times the square root of m over k. And that is how we find that problem. You can see it's actually a very easy problem to solve, very quick. You could probably crank this out in about one or two minutes. You have a little bit of time left over for the next problem. And that is how it's done.